welcome back to the channel guys welcome back troy and francis fine art here and this episode we are finishing up the clock this is part two of our clock project the clock is done it looks fantastic and of course i'm walking you through the process of how i painted and how i put everything together please kick back and relax and enjoy the video yeah man thank you for joining in thank you for your support when I don't tape the back of my design the resin dries underneath it and it looks unsightly so what I had to do I had to use a knife and I had to scrape off the excess resin and repaint the design it's not a super big deal but I could have avoided it by just taping it in the first place It's been about it's been a few hours so I sprayed my clock hands with white spray paint first and then I sprayed it over with yellow it was black before but I wanted to give it like a pop of color so I decided to, to spray it with the yellow it has a nice vibe and a nice texture to it so I like that so I'm gonna leave that as is now I like out here. I like how out here is nice and warm today. So I'm gonna try to assemble the clock outside here. All right. All right. Outside is very cool. It's warm, I should say. So 
is about feels like about 70 degrees 68 there about so i'm gonna work outside for a little bit oh. i already put i set up the i pierced a hole inside of the the the, the letters um i created this round section right here which which um i would say is the is the background the the letters i would consider that to be the middle ground and the hands i would consider to be the foreground if, if you know about art or if you don't know about art when i'm creating any artwork at all i try to make sure that there's a foreground a middle ground and a background the foreground is anything that is way in front the middle ground falls directly behind the foreground and the background as the name suggests is the background um, movies music videos anything like that any artistic project at all always you know has a middle ground foreground and background i always use that i always notice it um, and those are like the elements of the composition right that's how you set up a composition so i've already had have the i put the letter on top of the circular form i placed a set of everything and this is where i'm gonna put my screws so i'm gonna screw them in now and make sure that um, everything is in place super special shout out to justine cook nala creative studios and of course my shout out winner from the last video rare earth rare earth was the only person that identified the mistake that i made in the last video so big shout out guys and thank you for your support